Hey, you guys, so we're finally finishing up these gorgeous and super sweet butterflies that we're making just in time for spring using white glue and cardboard. And so listen, everything is so cute. We already got it all laid out. So what we wanna do now is our butterflies are super hard. You can see the embossed section now. I could go back and put another layer of glue if I want them to kind of sit up, but hopefully, um, it's cause, so it's not as high up as I really want it but I think they came out really pretty. So we're gonna give it a go, see what happens. You're gonna need your metallic paints. I have these three colors. So I have a gold, taupe, and a silver. And they should come out really pretty. So because I already have the gold laid out and I already have the silver, we're gonna put the taupe to the side. We're gonna get something right quick to put our paint on, which I guess I could put it off to the side. So we're gonna shake it up. And then what we're gonna do is just start applying it and pray, pray saints that it comes out cute like I want it to. But basically we want it to have like an embossed metal look. And because they're not laying flat, I'm probably not gonna do the Mod Podge. I'm just gonna borrow my 15 year old's um, clear coat <laughs> of um, nail polish. And then you may just wanna be sure since we did paint it, just to poke your holes and make sure they're good and pokey, in other words, that you can get your jump ring through there. So just wanna do that before you put your last coat on. And I'm gonna do a coat on the front and the back. But we won't do that before we end the video. Um, I mean, we'll do the front, but not the back, because I wanna go ahead and show you what the finished product is gonna look like. Oh, so I have, I accidentally glued my pokey tool to the tin foil. So I'm gonna put my paint on the tin foil so then we can just throw it away once we finish. Just do a little ball up of it. I have another two other super cute projects coming up. I've had closings this week. Shout out to my incredible clients. So that freed up some time that I had because there's just a few less people to be working with. And then we got the next batch of people going under contract. From there, so super excited. Let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. I'm gonna be so excited. I was literally walking past the pantry and said, let me grab the wet wipes. <laughs> so shout out to you for that, um, for always just giving me such great tips. And they're really great tips when I remember to do them, right? So we're gonna start with the gold one. So we're just gonna dip our finger in some paint and we don't want a lot because again, we're just trying to make it look etched and give it a metal feel. So I'm dipping my finger in the paint and then I'm just doing the edges so it'll have like a finished look on the edge. And we're not trying to perfect it or anything. I know I say that all the time, but you already know I'm a perfectionist. And this is just to give it some, a finished look on the edges. Y'all asked my husband, is it Friday yet? Gracious, these weeks are going by so fast. So I got a bit of a smidge, a smudge on that one, but I'm fine with that. So now right in here is a little tough to get to. So I'm gonna take a brush cause it's tough to get to like the little cracks in there. I don't have big fingers, but my finger's not small enough to fit in that little crack either. So if you want, you could just use a brush to get into your edge, you know, whatever you need to do. So now do that little section. So now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take the excess paint, I mean, dip our fingers in paint, wipe off the excess, and hope that our embossing detail shows up. And we're just gonna rub it on there. And you wanna leave some of the black paint showing. We really genuinely just want like a gold wash so that it looks metal, right? I'm gonna turn it around after I wipe some of it on there. That's pretty. And be sure we're gonna do the back too. So after it dries, we'll turn it over and do the back. I 
right? So our goal is to get it on the raised edges so that the butterfly looks metal. So when he's flying around on your ear and he's dangling and flinging around, he looks gold. So now we're just gonna turn him over because that's gonna dry relatively quickly. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the back. And even though we don't have any detailing on the back with the glue, because there's um, the paper is bent, it's gonna have some creases that the paint can adhere to, which is a good thing. So it basically will look like a metal butterfly. I love that. And then you could add some additional detailing if you wanted to, just to jazz him up some more. But look how pretty that is. Super lightweight, really pretty. Now, if you wanted to, like wherever you wiped off your edging and your edge maybe got away from you, you could just go back and fix that. Because it's what, paint, not concrete. Just got paint on the table. I get on more from prices less nerves, I'm sure. I'm sure I do. But he loves me anyway. Look, I told him you ain't got no choice. You've been together 30 some years. This is your happily ever after, so be happy, buddy. <laughs> right? So super, super cute. So let's do this one. So same thing. Just gonna put some paint on our finger, go around the edges to give it some piping. If you want, you can skip past this. I'm just repeating the process. I almost want to add like a cream color to the raised edge detailing, but I don't know. I don't want to get carried away. What are y'all doing for President's Day? Not that you celebrate President's Day. I don't mean it that way, but it's a day off, right? Who's turning down a four-day weekend? Come on now. Super excited about that even though I work all the time anyway, but I'm not working on President's Day. So anybody calling me wanting something, I'm like, uh, nope, the attorney's offices are closed. So that means that we too are closed. I already told my children, we're gonna be doing something for the weekend because they have been working so hard in school. Had a lot of work. So got that. And now again, we're gonna dot our finger off Push the paint over there because I had more on my hand than I genuinely wanted. Okay. Pretty. Get a little closer up here. I think I got too much up there. So now I probably need to match it up over here since I won't be able to take it off. So let's just get a little bit extra. I'm talking so low. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the back. And then we'll let that one dry. We'll move on to the silver one. I almost wish I would have done another one so we could add some different colors to it. But hey, so much construction paper, so much time. We can always go and do that. I know most people say so little time, but we ain't speaking that. Shoot, God said, I'm going to give you a long life and satisfy you with long life. So we ain't going to be speaking to. Okay, so pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at those sweet little butterflies. Oh my gosh, totally love them. So let me wipe my hands off and then we're going to do the silver one. So convenient. Uh, what would I do without my fellow crafters and jewelry makers? That's convenient. My fingers have been really dry lately though. Maybe because the weather keeps going from hot to cold. I don't know. And let me wipe off my brush. I'm going to go rinse my brush off though. So I'll be right back to the next pair so this is our silver pair so I think that what I'm gonna do first is this time I'm gonna go ahead and add the silver like the rub for lack of a better word 
That's gonna be pretty. So in other words, just put the etching details on first and then we'll do the outer edges. So these look like metal and that's the idea, right? It's for your butterflies to look like they have a metal finish to them so they don't look like cardboard. Pretty. And let's go on and do the back. And this is like a rub. You know, I think they actually sell something like that at the craft store, like a um, metallic rub you can put on stuff. Let's see. It dries really quickly. So I think these are super cute. And again, you could do all types of beadish embellish embellishments, whatever you want to do. Like if you wanted to add beads or what have you, I'm just gonna keep them simple and plain for this video. And you could leave more of your black showing if you wanted to. I didn't on this one only because I got so much on my hand, but that's probably the only reason why. And then we're gonna go through and pipe it. Do our edges, basically what I'm saying. I used to not like messy stuff, but now it's almost kind of therapeutic. I don't want fingerprints on that, so let me hold it from the side. So, these are beautiful. So, now what we could do is we could go through and pipe the edges in black if you wanted to, or we could do it in a silver, but since we did the other ones in gold, let's just go ahead and pipe the edges in silver. You guys, if y'all are out there traveling this weekend, I meant to say this a second ago, I took Caleb to school today. He commutes to college. It's about 45 minutes away. So there's some days out the week I'll take him and then other days my parents will take him until we buy him a car. And there were so many state troopers out there snatching people up. I was like, mm -mm, I'm not investing in the North Carolina highway system this weekend prayerfully. So don't you do it either. Be out there driving. Drive at a reasonable pace. Nobody trying to buy up highway. That is not a good investment. Trust me, I've done it before. Didn't get anything back for it. <laughs> right? It was a lot of them out there. Okay, so for the little edges we can't reach, we're just going to use our brush. And we're going to sit these to the side to dry. I have one client I have to go meet today. Pick up some keys for another client. So how beautiful. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see those. I'm just gonna leave them be to dry right now. So I'm gonna, just to speed it up, do the crevices and the edges first. And that way I can just do the edges with my finger. And be finished. So then after these dry, we'll put them together. Now, if I wanted to add some more black to these, I could, I may do that a smidge in a sec. I think I'm gonna let them dry first and see how they dry, but I do wanna add, I think, some of the black back in there because I like that. I didn't want all that silver I got on there, but for now, it's okay. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see that. Let me wash my hands okay, easy. So I think they came out super, super cute. They look super metally, which I love. And these are the findings we're gonna be using. 
And once they dry, what we're gonna do is put a clear coat on them. I may add a little bit more color or put some black back on there, but I'm gonna let them dry first so it doesn't end up looking all muddied. And then we'll be ready. Okay, you guys, so I asked Miriam if I could borrow her clear nail polish. She said yes, yeah. she said don't use all of it. So we're just gonna use a little bit I wish I had something that didn't really have a like strong smell to it, but I think I used this on the Africa pendant that we made from the hot glue, and I don't think it left a smell, so hopefully this won't be too loud smell-wise once it dries, so you just gotta hold that down. Let's put a nice coat. Now, I could use like the glossy Mod Podge. That wouldn't have a smell to it, so only thing is I added water to my Mod Podge. Remember when we did the glue project? So I'm gonna have to get another one of those. So that way. And then I could have used, like I said, the um, Dimensional Magic, but these aren't gonna lay flat. So I don't wanna worry about that. And even if you cover up your little hole by accident with the clear polish, it'll be okay because you can poke a hole right back through it. Y'all, I'm so excited about the projects that God's given me in my mind. I had so many, I had to draw them out. I mean, I normally draw them out anyway or make notes. So that way, I don't forget what I want to make. Okay. So now let's do the silver pair. Same thing. We're just going to put a light coat. Just going to put the pokey tool in the hole so... And y'all, why did I think wax paper and parchment paper did the same thing? Who the heck knew it was different? So I found out when I went to put something hot glue related on the wax paper and it stuck where I saw on the parchment paper somebody had in the video, it lifted right off. But there's not a Dollar Tree near me. Um, well, it's not that far, but it's at least 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back. And then there's a lot of panhandling that takes place outside the one that's about 20 minutes away. I'm like, I'm just not in the mood tonight. I really wanted to go get some because my next project, we're gonna need some parchment paper, but maybe I'll just do it on temple for the things we're gonna make and just know that if it sticks, we can always paint over the temple. So you're gonna need to get your hot glue sticks again, your hot glue gun. I think that's the one we're gonna do next your paint in the colors of your choice. This is some strong nail polish. <laughs> your paint in the colors of your choice, and you're gonna need some jump rings, some earring hooks, and we're gonna make some like, I'm not gonna tell it. They're gonna be cute though. Cute, cute, cute. And they're gonna be light, and they're gonna be dangly. So, super excited. So just putting another clear coat on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these dry. And then after they dry, we'll just do like a Mod Podge on the back, like a, just a quick quick coat. I think I do have a clear, not clear, a matte Mod Podge. So we'll do that on the back after these dry. Then we'll come back and we'll put them together. I think I did wanna do a couple of beads hanging from here somehow. We we'll figured it out. We'll be right back. I'm rambling. So here I already put one pair together. I'm going to show you what I did. We just added some chain and a sweet little butterfly. That butterfly actually had a brass finish and I decided to go ahead and just paint it silver. I got this silver chain from Michaels. You probably saw it back in another video and I also shared with you that I got the jump rings and the ear wires from Michaels as well. I just used their 20% off coupon when we had it and I happened to be shopping there one day and got the chain. Walmart also has a lot of really, really, really great chain because that's what's in for 2022 um, season for statement jewelry and things like that. So no one will be able to tell what these are made out of. They're not gonna be able to look at these and think, oh, they're made out of cardboard. Wait until you see them on, they're super cute. They're not heavy at all. Again, I just have long ear holes, so they're super light love how they turned out and then what i'm going to do is show you how i put together the gold pair which i love as well and what we did was we just cut some chain 
to a length that hung slightly below the butterfly itself because I wanted to have a hang dimension. Here's the chain I used. I believe I got the gold chain from Walmart. It's a lot of it, right? I think I told you it was 70 inches or something like that. So I cut off the peach pieces to match. And then what I'm gonna do is just grab the gold jump rings, the butterflies, some gold head pins, and we're gonna put them together. So here they are all finished. I completely love how these turned out. I think they're really gorgeous. You should make it. Think about how many of these you can make out of nothing but cardboard. I mean, how many cheese it and cereal boxes do you have laying around your home? You could make jewelry out of. And with 70 inches of chain, all those ear wires and everything and jump rings that you have that you can buy in multiples, you could start your jewelry business literally for 20 bucks. Seriously. So here I am modeling the silver pair. Today is a no makeup kind of day. It's Friday, so much to get done. So just wanted to show you what they came out looking like. I think they are beautiful. Again, I love how the little silver um, butterfly corresponds. This is the gold pair. I think I'm in love equally with them both. So here's the gold pair with the little earrings. I did like a um, silver piece. God bless you guys. See you next time.